That's why Gad said seven winters ago. You know? Yeah, so winter, that's the, the gauge. That's the measuring stick for toughness, man. You can endure the winter. That's a sign of being you're, you're tough. Like I said, the Russians, one of the reasons why they're so tough is because look at the winters they endure. Yeah. The people of Ukraine, the, Ser- the Serbians, you know, those people up there. They jump into that cold water, no problem. Yeah, you got that polar bear club. Yep. They, they, during the, what, the first day of January, they jump into, those, into that cold uh, water as a sign of what? As toughness, mental toughness, physical toughness. Now, I got uh, something else because I did a video on it and I read the scripture and I wanted to kind of expound upon it a little more. Yeah, this is Psalms nine, 19 and 1, right? It says, the ch- to the chief mus- mus- musician, a psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Now, when you look up the word, let's look up the word heavens. Because this, this word heavens right here, this word heavens is talking about the, out, the inner atmosphere, the outer atmosphere in the space. It's not talking about the spiritual realm where the uh, the most high dwells. Like Tazariak made another, put his foot in his mouth again on one of the videos. He was getting, getting it in with uh, Shaka and they were asking, where's the most high? And and, and and Shaka said he's up he's up in the galaxy. <laughs> he ain't up in no galaxy, man. He's in he's in the fourth dimension, man. Or what Paul called the third heaven. It's the spiritual realm. It's not a thing that you go up, you go up high enough, then you then you see the most high uh on the throne somewhere. Like uh like uh, Captain Kirk. Like Captain Kirk, remember he met the most high? <laughs> and the most high got mad at him. And try to kill his ass, <laughs> and they made him look like the Most High. He had the beard, the white hair, kind of almost half woolly, half curly and shit. He he spark. I, see, I wanted to see that movie just to see that man. He done went on the planet, right? And he and he actually saw the Most High. <laughs> Ain't this a bitch, you know? But anyway, that's what Tazari I think. If you get a ship that's powerful enough, you go up to the to the uttermost part of the galaxy and all of a sudden the most high is sitting there on a throne hanging out with the angels and you can land your ship there are you crazy most high ain't, ain't, ain't in there that's it yeah that's it that's it <laughs> that's it that's what that's what yeah that's it and that shows you and that shows you right there he had white hair kind of semi woolly you know that shows you that these devils that write these movies, they know what the most high looks like, man. Captain Kirk, man, with his no acting ass. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know, so now uh, I looked up that word heaven for the apostle Tahar, and the word heaven comes from uh, H8064 Shemayim, which means heaven, heaven's sky. Visible heavens, sky, as abode of the stars, as the visible uni- space, yep, as the visible universe, the sky, atmosphere, etc., heaven as the abode of the Most High, which uh, technically it is, but it's not because, you know, they have, the third heaven is the abode of the Most High. Even though he's in, omnipresent and everything, his abode is in the third heaven. But um, that that is the heaven. That's that atmosphere, the outer atmosphere. Even within the uh, uh, ozone layer, you have the heavens, which is the sky. But then right above the ozone layer, as you see, in, in, into, it's looking into space. That's also the heavens, you know. And and in and, and that realm there uh, uh, dwells what, what you have uh, uh, satellites. And those satellites give off certain uh, um, signals from from the feed horn of the satellite. To to the uh um the, the, that that satellite out there and comes back down to Earth and that's where you see these different images or hear uh, uh, radio stations or whatever the case is across the world, you know. So that's through signals, right? And that's that's how the Lord uh, gave these devils the technology to be able to um to uh, uh, uh show these these lessons on YouTube and other uh, social media out there to spread the word. 
what I'm going to pr- show you is uh, Psalm 19 is talking about the web, which this is nothing more than uh, like this this uh, laptop. This ain't nothing but uh, a uh, thorum and urim. That's all this is. And the most I decide to give it to this devil. Yep. Thorum and a urim. Okay? God, that's right. um, what, you, you, you wanted what the word declare out of there? Yeah, break them words down. Okay. All right, so all right, so it says, uh, Psalms 19 and 1, it says, The heavens declare the glory of the Most High, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. So I'm going to go to the word declare in the Hebrew, which is eight, H5608, uh, Sapar, Sapar, which is where you get the word book from. Uh, yeah, the word there is declare. Right. Book. You know, so it's, a, it's, it's in other words, it's to write a record and to put the record out, to publish the record. So the word declare, like I said, the word support means book or record. So we're because re- we're reading from the records and we're making a declaration on film that's going out on YouTube. YouTube, the most I set up YouTube for us. All right. That's right. So the word, the definition of it is to count, recount, relate. To count things, to number, take account of, reckon, to be counted, be numbered, to recount, rehearse, declare, to recount something, rehearse, to talk, to count exactly or accurately, to be recounted, be rehearsed, be related, enumerator, muster office. It's also a measurement. It's also a measurement. Uh, let's go to uh, Revelation uh, 11. You don't got to go that in the blue letter. Revelation 11 and 1. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. A, a reed like unto a rod is a measuring stick, right? You're going to see that. And the angels uh, stood saying, rise and measure the temple. So this rod is a measuring stick to record things. So what is that measuring stick? D- this, this word right here, okay? Measure the temple. The temple is us pursuant to uh, 1 Corinthians 3 of the Most High, and the altar, and them that worship therein. Those are the Israelites. But to the court which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and um, and the holy city shall be trodden underfoot forty and two months. Now the Gentiles, first and foremost, is, to- foremost, is talking about these other nations, but it's also referring to Israelites. Like Shaka is a Gentile. Polite is a Gentile. Sarnet is a Gentile. All them guys are Gentiles, man. So you had no business allowing those heathens to come to your Passover, man. So uh, I got another, another one to, to back that one up. This is uh, Micah chapter 6, verse 8 and 9. He hath showed thee, O man, what is good. And what doth the Lord require of thee but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy power? The Lord's voice crieth unto the city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Well, not not every man is a man of wisdom. Con. Oh, that that cuts Nate. I guess he's not a man of wisdom because he hasn't seen he he doesn't see the name of the heavenly Father nor his Son. He That's makes right. fun of it. Rather, he's seen the name, but he makes fun of it. Yeah, it says, "Hear ye the rod, and who hath appointed it?" As Apostle Tar just me- just read read in the book of. Um, Revelation 11 chapter that the angel gave him a reed like unto a rod, which is a measuring stick. So the scriptures say, hear ye the rod, which means what? That the Bible is that measuring stick that you're supposed to hear. So when the word is going out through these signals and going to YouTube and Daily Motion and all those other different um, uh, sites, that's the most highest rod, you know, his, his uh, uh, correction, which is his word going out throughout the earth and, and sealing the elect. Going back to uh, Psalms 19 and 1, the heavens declare thy glory, the glory of the Most High, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. So now I'm going to look up the word firmament, which is from the Hebrew H7549, Rakwayai. It says, extended surface, solid, expanse, firmament, expanse, flat as base, support, firmament. A vault of heaven supporting waters above. Considered by Hebrews... Oh, at, supported, supported by waters above. 
because the word shamayim, uh, you, that's a compound word. Sharp pretty much means pertaining to, and mayim means water. So you can say is of the waters. Now, didn't it? Didn't you just read that? It has something to do with waters. So the word heavens in the Hebrew is a word shamayim, which means pertaining to waters or of the waters. Yeah, that's in Genesis one.